Evie Crazy Man here with more Knight Rider goofs and fun facts that I couldn't fit into my last Knight Rider video. If you are curious at what happened to your favorite Knight Rider actors, this video is for you. Like whatever happened to this guy and what 80s actor has he been working with lately? The answer might surprise you. I also run down Kit's various capabilities. Let's take a look at this scene from the episode Forget Me Not. Guest star Judy Landers is kidnapped and jumps from a moving car to get away. First thing is, of course, she's replaced by a stunt person wearing a wig. But there's other things you might miss if you weren't paying attention, like when Kit is pulling Michael and Judy back up the cliff. It looks like Kit's part is actually filmed at night. The part where the stuntman Michael is climbing up is definitely not the same hill that David Hasselhoff is climbing up. It almost looks like you could walk up the one that Hasselhoff is, is going up, even with carrying Judy on his back. But it was definitely an example of superb acting. In the episode, Give Me Liberty or Give Me Death, Michael saves a woman's life, but he leaves the tape on her mouth. That disappears as they drive by, and then she takes it off again later. In the episode, Trust Doesn't Rust, that's the one that featured Kit's evil twin car. We see Carr run through a building with decorative stars that are there one second and gone the next. They probably snuck in a scene from the previous episode, slamming Sammy's stunt show spectacular. Don't ask me to say that again. I wouldn't dream of it. I made out a couple things from this scene from Big Iron on my last Knight Rider video. You might want to check that out later. But I forgot something that someone pointed out in the comments. When the dozer goes to push Kit and the stunt Michael dummy over the cliff, Kit has a plain old Trans Am nose. He's missing his red light. In the episode Nightlines, this poor guy is shoved off a building and is scared stiff. Well, I think the actor probably decided that it would be better if they threw a dummy off the building instead of him. And the stuntman agreed. The dummy would also be a better choice than himself as well. Go oh, nothing out of the ordinary. Very, very convenient. In the episode Blind Spot, Kit has a dent, which of course should not be possible under normal circumstances, thanks to his indestructibility. And now, some trivia. Do you remember the time Michael Knight and Kit guest starred on Different Strokes? It was on the Different Strokes episode Hooray for Hollywood. It aired in February 18, 1984. William Daniels didn't make it on to do Kit's voice and was replaced in this episode by Jim Ward. Got all that, Kit? I'm way ahead of you. Kit has been given many capabilities on the series, some only lasting one episode, like his ability to run on water. Of course, we all know about Kit's turbo boost that allows him to not only drive faster, but also jump into the air. He also has a button for skiing or driving on two wheels. Try those high tracks and drop down. Forty dollars and not a penny more. I'm sure there's a lot more I didn't think of, but if you can think of some, post them in the comments. Now let's look at some fun David Hasselhoff trivia. In 2006, Hasselhoff made a music video with Kit entitled, Jump In My Car. Get, get her out of here. Woo! <laughs> in 2007, the Hoff made a cameo in the movie Kicking It Old School. With Kid, of course. A young loner on a crusade to champion the cause of the innocent, the powerless. I love that line. It never gets old. In a world of criminals who operate above the law. William Daniels, the voice of Kid, has popped up as Kid here and there over the years, like this cameo voice work on the movie The Bench Warmers in 2006. I have yet to perfect the peel out. Try not to destroy me completely, Mel. 
2015, Daniels brought Kit to a new generation on a video game entitled Lego Dimensions. Or Kit, if you prefer. Thank you, Mr. Baracus. Edward Mulhair, who played Devin Miles, sadly passed away in 1997 of lung cancer. An episode of the TV series Team Knight Rider entitled KRO was dedicated to him, airing that same year. In early 97, a few months before his death, Mulhair appeared on one episode of Baywatch Nights, David Hasselhoff's later series. We have the resources to handle this. Like you handle this. The last time he played Devin Miles was Knight Rider 2000, the TV movie from 1991. I made a promise a very long time ago, a promise to fulfill one man's dream. Do you remember what Wilson always said? One man can make a difference. No one ever suggested that what we do is easy. Nothing worthwhile ever is. Remember Peter Paris, the new guy from Knight Rider's last season? He played RC, the newest member of the Knight Rider team. Man has to have a rag roof and at least 400 horses under him. Now he went on to star with Knight Rider's biggest competitor, John Schneider, aka Bo Duke from the Dukes of Hazzard, on a series that lasted from 2013 to 2021. The show was like a soap opera called The Haves and the Have Nots. Kind of reminds me of Dallas, which was also on Friday nights back in the day. Soap operas have never been my thing, so I honestly, I've never seen this show. Say that again. I just don't like soap operas. Too mushy, not enough car chases or comedy. How would you know that? Well, my mom used to watch soap operas all the time in the 70s. And, and you know this how? Well, when there wasn't any school, I was there in the living room while she was watching them. Do not make me your enemy. Moving right along, remember Patricia McPherson who played Bonnie the Mechanic on three seasons of Knight Rider? She missed the second season, of course, but was brought back on the third and fourth seasons. She hasn't done a lot of stuff since then. I mean, she's made some guest appearances in shows like Starman, Dynasty, MacGyver, Star Trek The Next Generation, Matlock. And the last thing she was on was an episode of the Sci-Fi Channel's Warehouse 13 in 2009. Yeah, I know what that's like. What? Nothing. Nothing there. Just nothing. I'll see you later. Remember Rebecca Holden, Kit's mechanic for season two? The longest part she's had since Knight Rider was General Hospital in 87. What's with all these soap operas anyway? The last thing she played on was an episode of the new Saved by the Bell that I haven't been able to force myself to watch. I mean, I watched a couple of episodes, but that's it, because I, you just keep feeling like there's some major modern messaging going to smack you in the face at any moment with that show. Rebecca Holden also played in a movie in 2009 about the story of Ruth from the Bible. Like, uh, Freddy Cat here, reminding you to check out the Freddy Cat Cartoons channel, man, and the latest cartoon this week. It's like my first mystery, dude. See if you can figure out what cartoon episode inspired it from the 70s. Like, uh, later, man. Well, that's it for this TV Crazy Man video. Hit the like to help the video and comment. Let me know what classic TV show you'd like to see next, or if you have any ideas or suggestions for what I should focus on in those classic TV shows, that would be awesome as well. Have a great day. I couldn't have said it better myself, pal.